Welcome everyone, wherever you are today. Wait, let me swipe it down a little. Phew. Okay. Welcome everyone to our gameplay. Um, this is my first ever video, so I might not be doing it well. So, but I just want to introduce you to this cool game where you can play as a false prophet and make a cult and then entice people to be your followers and then also doing some unholy rituals to call for an alien stuff which is called this is basically like maybe the darkest desire that everyone always has either religious or atheist I think they have this kind of like deep deep image in their mind for some reason so yeah and and the first time that I saw this game and I felt like oh my god I really have to play this because it was just so fun and you can actually find it in either you play it with PC or with your phones and at this time I just play it with my phones I mean I have played it with PC but it, it's not really as fun as playing it in your phone I say so I have a save um, prepared here for me so I will just purge it and then start a new life so while we're starting I just want to say that this is like the latest update so you actually after you played um, the normal route you will have some options where you can start off as the dancer the priest the gold the exile and then also the bright young thing so so after you play the basic you can actually play uh, as other people and but the main theme was still the same the main theme is still the same it's it's about making a cult so the gameplay might not really change that much but it does affect um, what kind of cult you want to make and the motives that you want to have in your cult so here it is alone in this chilly city with my useless education and my dreams what now could I become something more could we as you see and this is actually kind of like a very sad you know, start you know kind of like another chef mopping the darkened hallways delivering posts to hollow eyed invalids trundling corpse laden gurneys to the basement uh, so our main character is someone who delivered corpses in the hospital you know who spent time in the morgue hmm I hope I'm not talking so fast because sometimes I messed up my grammar and my vocabulary is when I talk too fast halfway through your shift the head porter beckons you aside we won't require your service any longer he says here your last payment we've paid you through the end of the month I have lost my job at least now I have a little time to rest home yeah, one of the most painful thing about being fired is being fired from the job that you actually hate but need. Okay, let's just do unskilled labor, back breaking work for meager pay. What more? What choice do we have, especially in this corona? We do everything. Just look at me. Why am I doing this? Yeah. Okay, so. When it comes, so as you see, this tablet is where you put your card. So imagine it like everything about you, like people said, there is a galaxy of you. So imagine as this card's like the planets inside of you. And so there were some aspects that you can like see this contentment and funds. So this is, was, this is like simplifying life into a game of cards. Oh, so we don't have a lore yet. So we're dreaming using passion and sometimes this could invoke something. If we put some unholy lore in it, which we don't have right now. So just have to be patient and become the good capitalism 
capitalist slave that we are. So, okay. I need farms to live, but perhaps this recent upset in my circumstances is a secret blessing. Is there something to my dreams? There is such a... Uh, okay. So this is... Yeah, this starts as the mystical part. Finally, we found the mystical part in here. A letter from a solicitor. The old man at the hospital, the one I dream of, has named me in his will. I'll hear more soon. Hmm. Yeah. I guess this is how prophecy happens. This is how you become a prophet. By dreaming and then getting a letter from a stranger. Voila, you're a prophet. Okay, we need to wait for the health to be recovered. So, okay. Okay, we got reason here. This will increase our... Mm. A package of peculiar papers, yeah. Letters from strangers. Okay, so we can see here in here as dread. If you actually, because um, I had a contentment before, but time's up, so the card burned. But you can actually use contentment with dread. Okay, have to wait. Okay, work again as a good capitalist slave that we are. So I think that this game really keeps it real. Um, because even though your mission was to be this false prophet, but you still need to fulfill your biological necessity <laughs> like funds and then you know fatigue and all of those stuff apart from working on to make a cult so I love that realistic part about it it makes you realize that no matter who you are even if you are an aspiring false prophet you still have to pay your bills Okay, so the world is awash with printed words. Even the newspaper contains knowledge sometimes. <laughs> erudition. So, as you can see, we have erudition here via vitality. So, you can actually use this to increase um, your health stat or your uh, mind stat. Mm. Sometimes it could help, but I think that the main benefit of increasing your stat was to have more cards on the table. More passion cards or more health cards on the table. Oh, one thing, since we don't want to have the dread to be, you know, because we will have more cards with dread if we don't do something about it. So. We have this! Purchase a tincture of opium. In times of a special crisis, I might visit a discreet pharmacist. Discreet pharmacist. To purchase a tincture of opium and make my dream sweet. But only in times of a special crisis. Hmm. See, guys? You can be happy everywhere. Healthy or unhealthily. You can always be happy and find contentment. I like this realistic part of this game. Why am I waiting? I can actually fast forward it. Okay. Too late for that. Okay, so we should have opened this bequest, but I guess I got sometimes I got lost in the plot too much. I think I just like to live another life basically. I just I don't think that the reason why I keep on playing this game was about making a cult. I think I just want to live a different life. 
That's probably the main point why I play a simulation game. Okay. Let's just fast forward it. Okay, so um okay, I will just increase my fight vitality first. Okay, so glimmering was also another card for passion. So you can make the you know the order kind of like this. So reason and passion and then health, vitality. I'm not really good at stacking up my cards. Okay, so we got another contentment, but I've already done unhealthy things to get it, so it's useless. Oh yeah, I, I just I just saw a, an ant in my hand just now, but I flicked it. Okay, just. Okay, taking reminiscence. Okay, so you can work again. Okay, see this card. So we got this card because we. Okay, so. Okay, so we have read the the bequest. Examine my playing passion. My correspondent described my dreams exactly. They use names that are instantly familiar: the house, the wood, the hours, the glory. I sense here a power that generals and kings would envy. A new desire burns in me. There is note here: directions to a bookshop that does not advertise its wares. Hmm. Okay, so we got another health as you can see as we upgrade our vitality. Um, okay, so where's our erudition? Oh, I think I lost one. Okay, no problem. Okay, um, I'm a very realistic person, so I. Okay. Notes on a possible collaborator. My correspondent had recorded his observations of me. He believed I had potential. He recorded his observations of someone else too with time and study. Perhaps I can find that person. Mm. Okay. Okay, so it seems that we have to read this. Thousand faces. Mm, okay. While we're waiting for that, we got. A temptation for power. It has occurred to me that I hold the key to power. This card will allow you to win a power of victory if you upgrade far enough. Okay, so um, there were that there were a lot of options uh, for the victory. So there's actually uh, a lot of temptation that you could you could find throughout the game, and power was one of them. And when and each character each character that you start with actually gives you an inclination to a certain temptation so I think that because this guy was a normal guy who's belittled I think like kind of like the Joker of this game he wanted power so he got a temptation for power and this is a smith secret it's one of the, um, I would say, lore that could help you to make ritual rituals and also started a cult. In five continents, myths have whispered the same words to the iron. Murderers have been known to whisper these words too, and adapts, of course. These words are spoken in ritual to inspire an unmerciful change. Hmm. Interesting. Don't we all want power? Power is everything. I think that every character in this game has that sad um, 